Hey guys, thanks for joining me today. I have a pork tenderloin slow cooker dish that is super easy. First, we're gonna make the sauce. And so I've got a cup of broth. This is basically very close to a dump and go sort of meal. And uh, sometimes that's what we need, right? Uh, as you're watching this, if you'd like to go ahead and give a thumbs up and subscribe, hit all the links below. There will be a recipe card on my blog for all of the things here. Um, so I'm adding in a quarter cup of tamari, or you could use soy sauce. Um, I use tamari for it's gluten-free, soy-free. I've got three tablespoons of honey in there, a tablespoon of Dijon, and two tablespoons of olive oil. And just kind of giving that a zhuzh around some great uh, flavor profile there. And especially later when we boil that sauce down, it's just going to make an amazing flavorful a sauce. So I've got a, about a cup of chopped onion. Um, it, you could mince yours. Mine's rather <laughs> hurriedly chopped, we should call it. And three tablespoons or three garlic cloves rather. You could put three tablespoons of garlic in there if you want, but three garlic cloves minced or you could put that through a garlic press. Uh, super tasty. And then we have some herbs. We've got about four teaspoons of any combination you have. Um, so I'm putting in a couple of oregano. And then I think I had a teaspoon of Italian seasoning and a teaspoon of rosemary, maybe. I can't remember now. It was a, about a week ago I made this. But um, so all in all, about four teaspoons of dried herbs, or you could put fresh if you have those available. Um, just giving that a final stir. I got these two pork tenderloins from Costco. They come in that big package of, I think you get four total. So there's two tenderloins in each package. And I usually cook with the one and then freeze the other set for another time. Or you can make the same sauce and then go ahead and put in the other two. So you could basically double this and put one in a freezer bag uh, and freeze that for later. And then you can make one now. So then you would have it uh, all ready to go for next time. You could very much do that. That's a great option. So I'm just trying to open my pork tenderloins here. And um, we don't eat a ton of pork in our family, but I do like a pork tenderloin. Uh, it's lean, but still easy to work with. Um, but it does need a lot of flavor and care because it is so lean. Um, <clears throat> so putting that in there and then we're just going to kind of turn them around and let them sort of, uh, bathe and marinate in that, um, sauce. And as they cook, that way we don't have just the top, you know, is bald and <laughs> the bottoms in the sauce. So just give them a good zhuzh in there. And then we're going to cook this on low for about six to eight hours. I feel like my slow cooker runs a little hot, so I, I tend to do more the six hour end and it was perfectly fine. Okay, so now we have the sauce. I removed the pork tenderloins and shredded those up. Just put the rest of the sauce in the saucepan and brought it up to a boil and evaporated out the extra juice. And that is what we've got here, delicious pork tenderloin. I hope you enjoy and try this recipe. Have a great day.